Okay folks, well welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, well welcome for the first time. And if you, before you leave, if you see something here that you like, do me a favor, down here in the bottom right hand corner, hit like and subscribe before you leave. And maybe hit that little bell down there to get updates for future releases. Now today, I am going to be making a two part recipe. And the reason being is because I am going to be making strawberry shortcake, but the first part here I am going to be making whipped cream. And the reason being is because I don't want my viewers who might be looking for a whipped cream recipe to have to go through all my videos looking for a whipped cream recipe. I know I've made it once before back when I made the uh, peanut butter, the no bake peanut butter pie. And if you haven't seen that, you can find it right up here in the right hand corner. But there's no need to be hunting through all my videos looking for a recipe for whipped cream. And so this is one going to be one of those little short standalone videos that I make kind of like with my macaroni and cheese that I did two videos ago. And you know, I used the macaroni and cheese in another recipe, but macaroni and cheese can be a standalone recipe unto itself. And so that's the reason why I split it up. And that's the reason why I'm going to split up this whipped cream recipe as well. So let's get turned around and let's see where we're going with this. Okay, so we've got our whipping cream here, and if I can get it open here, we'll be doing real great. Need to pull that one bit of plastic off of there, the seal. And this is 16 ounces of uh, heavy whipping cream. And why is it heavy? How about that? Almost didn't even want to pour out of here. Now we're going to take our beater here and we're going to begin beating this. We're going to start off slow and hopefully we know what we're doing here. That's going to take some time even with a mixer. You can do this by hand. Be my guest if you want to go tackle it. But a electric can mixer is going to improve your speed at this a whole lot. Basically what we're doing is we're folding air into this heavy whipping cream. Now for this purpose we're not going to be looking for stiff peaks. If I was making maybe a meringue pie or something like that, we would definitely be looking for the stiff peaks. Yeah, be, maybe I went a little too high there. Too high, too early. And the reason I'm saying that, we're still too liquid. You know, it's starting to want to splash. But the more air we get into the, incorporated into the cream, the thicker it'll start becoming. Can you see how we're getting bubbles into the cream here? That's exactly what we need in order to turn this into whipped cream. Mm -hmm. 
there. Now we're able to take this up a little, another notch. Because we're beginning to thicken up here. Now we're not really getting any peaks yet. That's fine. But we're going to go ahead and mix in our one heaping tablespoon of confectioner's sugar our quarter teaspoon, that'd be the little ones, quarter teaspoon of um, Dutch processed chocolate and one eighth teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna put in one teaspoon of vanilla. vanilla extract. There we go. Just like that. We'll take that on slow until I get, get those uh, ingredients kind of incorporated here. If you don't want chocolate in your whipped cream, by all means, do not put it in there. It is not a necessity. The sugar and the vanilla and the salt are a necessity. Now that has started to come together real quick here. And all of a sudden it just kind of really got to that point where you can definitely see that we've got whipped cream going on here. I'm going to take it just a little bit further yet. There we go. Nice soft peaks. I hope you can see that. Now I guess who gets to taste one of these. A chocolate. There's just a hint of that chocolate in there. It's exactly what I was looking for. I don't want it to be chocolatey. I just want it to be that kind of a, how you want to say it, just a in the background kind of a thing. Okay, so there we go. We've got our we've got our whipped cream here. Okay, folks. Yep, our whipped cream our, yeah, yeah. <laughs> our whipped cream is finished. And uh, actually, it was finished last night. And I had originally put the ending on another camera that I had set up over here that was trained on my face the whole video. But I decided not to put that that camera into the video because a camera will not lie for you and it was getting too much of the background and through a doorway and my living room really needs cleaned up right now <laughs> it was not gonna lie for me and tell me it wasn't cleaned up so uh, I decided not to put that in there and so at any rate um, maybe the next video after the strawberry shortcake video uh, I'll have a vi I'll have a camera trained on my face the whole you know during the video shoot uh, we'll see how that goes at any rate the whipped cream is finished and folks uh, no tasting on this one because the whipped cream is being used on something else and I'm not gonna just sit here and start eating spoonfuls of whipped cream even though it was pretty tasty uh, folks do me a favor down here in the bottom right hand corner if you like what you're seeing Hit like and subscribe and there's a little bell down there you click on that and that will give you reminders when new content comes out and uh, stay tuned there's always more to come and thanks for watching.